Osprey, also called the fish hawk. At first glance, it looks like just another eagle, but this bird is specialized, almost engineered for one purpose, hunting fish. Its wings are long and narrow, with a sharp bend at the wrist, perfect for hovering over water. From above, the osprey scans the surface, its eyes tuned to cut through glare like living polarized lenses. When the moment is right, it doesn't hesitate. It dives, feet first, nostrils close, feathers streamline. The bird transforms into a living spear. Now comes the real trick. Its feet are zygodactyl, two toes forward, two back. But one toe can flip, giving it an alternate grip. Tiny barbs called spicules line each talon. They bite into slippery scales, locking prey like Velcro. Once caught, the fish twists midair, head first. Aerodynamic perfection. But there's one flaw. The osprey isn't waterproof. After every dive, it shakes midair, spraying water everywhere, like a wet dog that forgot gravity. Efficient, relentless, precise. And yet, this story doesn't end here, because above, a bigger bully is watching. The bald eagle, America's national symbol, a creature of strength, pride, and opportunism. Up close, it's massive, over two meters of wingspan, a hooked beak made for tearing, and talons strong enough to crush with nearly 400 pounds of force. That's more than enough to snap the spine of a fish, or anything else unlucky enough to be in reach. Its vision is extraordinary. Packed with millions of photoreceptors, the eagle can spot prey from over a mile away. Imagine reading small print on a billboard while flying at highway speeds. That's the bald eagle's reality. But power comes with irony. Despite its majesty, the bald eagle is a thief. Rather than hunt, it often steals fish midair from ospreys, gulls, even other eagles. It doesn't care about honor, just efficiency. And yet, when it soars against the sky, wings wide and unshaken, it still feels untouchable. Majestic? Absolutely. Merciful? Never. But high above, something else cuts through the air. Sleeker. Faster. Deadlier. The true master of speed is coming next. The Peregrine Falcon, a predator that turns the sky into a racetrack. At first glance, it looks ordinary, just another falcon gliding on pointed wings. But when it hunts, the laws of physics surrender. The falcon climbs high, folds its wings, and dives, a move called a stoop. Gravity becomes its engine. Air hisses over feathers as it drops past 240 miles per hour. Faster than a Formula One one car faster than a bullet, the fastest animal on earth. Its nostrils hold tiny cones that work like jet engine diffusers, keeping the bird from blacking out. And a translucent third eyelid snaps shut mid-dive, protecting its vision at terminal speed. The impact alone can kill. Instant, precise, unstoppable. And now these falcons rule city skylines, hunting pigeons between steel towers like modern apex predators. The peregrine falcon redefines speed but speed fades with the sun because when the world grows cold and death settles in another hunter rises one that feasts on the bones themselves the bearded vulture also known as the lammergeier or simply the bone breaker unlike other raptors it doesn't crave fresh meat it waits for the feast to end when only skeletons remain because what others leave behind is exactly what it wants 90 percent of its diet is bone its stomach acid is stronger than battery acid dissolving marrow and splinters with ease but large bones don't fit whole so the vulture flies high then drops them onto rocks below one crack and dinner is is served. With a wingspan near three meters, red eyes, and feathers stained orange by dust and iron, it looks like a myth given flesh, a symbol of decay and renewal, recycling death into life. Where others chase the living, it consumes what's left behind. Efficient, patient, eternal. But even among giants of the sky, some prefer their prey alive. And in the high mountains, one golden shadow rules them all. The Golden Eagle. 
a predator forged by wind, stone, and altitude. With wings stretching over two meters, it dominates mountain ranges across the northern hemisphere. Its feathers gleam bronze in sunlight, a royal shimmer for a ruthless killer. This eagle doesn't hunt insects or fish. It targets hares, foxes, and even deer. There are stories, true ones, of golden eagles slamming into goats, knocking them off cliffs. And in Mongolia, for centuries, humans have trained them to hunt wolves, a partnership between predator and predator. Its attack is pure efficiency, a dive at 150 miles per hour, talons crushing bone on impact. Once locked, escape is impossible. It's adaptable too, hunting across tundra, desert, and forest, shifting tactics with ease. Where there's sky, there's a chance. The Golden Eagle is raw power in motion, majestic and merciless. But power isn't everything, because as night falls, another hunter takes the sky, one you'll never hear coming. The Owl a silent ghost in the night. Its wings make no sound. Each feather is engineered with fringed edges that scatter air instead of slicing it. To its prey, death arrives quietly, unseen, unheard. Its hearing is supernatural. Ears set at different heights allow it to pinpoint sound in three dimensions. It can detect a mouse moving under snow or a heartbeat in tall grass. Every rustle becomes a target, and those eyes, huge, forward-facing, locked in place. Owls can't roll their eyes like we do. Instead, they twist their necks up to 270 degrees, a full scan of the world without ever moving their body. Mythology calls them wise. Reality calls them efficient killers. Owls don't think. They calculate every flap, every turn, every strike. Perfect. But the night doesn't last forever. When dawn breaks, shadows fade. And in the light of day, a far greater shadow spreads its wings. The jungle's true apex is coming. The Harpy Eagle. A predator so powerful, it feels like a myth that never died. Standing over a meter tall, with a wingspan wider than a man's height. It's built for ambush, not pursuit. Each talon rivals a grizzly bear's claw, thick, curved, and strong enough to crush bone with a single grip. Deep within the rainforest canopy, it hunts in silence. Monkeys, sloths, birds, they vanish without a sound. One moment they exist, the next, they're gone, carried upward into green shadow. Despite its monstrous strength, the harpy is loyal and rare. Mates for life, builds nests the size of small cars, a giant wrapped in feathers, and patience. Its face, framed by a dark crown of feathers. Regal, almost human, a creature that blurs the line between beauty and terror. But even kings have rivals. And far from the jungles, where snow replaces leaves, another raptor reigns supreme. The lord of the frozen skies, the Jur Falcon. The Arctic's supreme hunter, largest of all falcons. The final word in aerial power. Where the world is ice and silence, it thrives. Wings stretching over a meter, muscles built for endurance. It rules a kingdom of snow and stone. Its prey, ptarmigans, ducks, even geese, taken mid-flight. When it strikes, the white sky becomes a blur of feathers and fury. Unlike the peregrine's quick dive, the gerfalcon kills through pursuit. Low, fast, relentless. It chases until exhaustion claims its prey. It's not a sprint, it's domination. For centuries, this falcon was reserved for kings, a living weapon of the north. Even now, its plumage, storm gray to pure white, blends perfectly with the frozen world. A ghost against snow, a shadow over stone. The gerfalcon isn't just fast, it's enduring, patient, unstoppable. From jungle shadows to icy heights, every predator rules its own sky. But one truth connects them all. Up here, survival still wears wings. See you in the next video. 
King Cobra. Just the name sounds like royalty, but this monarch doesn't wear a crown. It wears a hood. If you watched all the way here, don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, hit the bell, and comment which sky predator you think would dominate them all. Who's the true king of the skies?